Hi, I'm Ellie from Natural Balance Health and Fitness and welcome to my eight week pregnancy update. Well, I'm the same weight that I was at week four, so I won't be doing a belly shot for you today. Um, it's kind of surprising that I'm the same weight that I was at week four, considering how awful my nutrition has been over the last four weeks. So I'm pretty ashamed to say it, but uh, as I said, I'm going to put it out there and I'm going to share it with you. So over the past four weeks, I've gone through five bags of lollies, <laughs> which is ridiculous, um, considering that this was a food that I would never have considered eating um, pre-pregnancy. I seem to have this crazy aversity to vegetables so I have to disguise them by putting in them in soups and things like that which again is a crazy thing considering uh, that I'm a vegetarian. So I have an aversity to all sorts of uh, smells and tastes and basically my day consists of eating fruit, um, cheese, I seem to have a cheese addiction, um, refined carbohydrates, so I'm back to eating things like bread and wraps, which I haven't eaten for a very, very long time. Uh, so high sugar, high salt uh, is what my body seems to be wanting. And it's not because I'm really craving these foods, but it's just because I'm experiencing nausea 24-7, and they seem to be the only things that will actually settle my tummy a little bit and... Yeah, just relax things down. So I just had my first acupuncture treatment on Friday um, and that's just to try and help with things like tiredness um, and mainly the nausea. So trying to send the energy back uh, down this way whereas at the moment it's just all coming up. Um, dry retching a lot and just, I mean I only need to think about certain foods and I want to be spewing in the toilet. So. Um, I did get that on Friday and I felt really awesome all day on Friday so I've got high hopes that that's going to help me over the coming weeks. Um, I got back to feeling sick again though on Saturday and Sunday and it's now Monday morning so I've got to get through till Friday before my next one. Uh, so as I mentioned I've been feeling a lot of tiredness and uh, just lots of really strange feelings in my stomach. Uh, I guess all the ligaments and tendons and things are stretching and moving around and um, it's just quite unpleasant, a lot of bloating and yeah. Um, I've been very inactive as well, so going from having uh, been active six days a week, I'm now only doing once per week and that's something really, really gentle. So that's generally um, an easy walk or a gentle yoga class because that's all I can manage. Uh, my boobs are sore, I'm tired and I feel sick. So that's all I've been doing over the last four weeks. Um, hopefully I'll be able to give you a more positive update um, at the 12 week mark um, but for now let's just mention a couple of things that have been positive. Uh, so with my adversity to all sorts of foods and smells and tastes um, I haven't had a coffee uh, for about five weeks now and I was only having one coffee a day but I think it'll be a good thing for uh, my body to take a break away from caffeine. Uh, the other good thing is that my boobs have grown, so they've gone from a B cup to a C cup. So they're pretty sore, so I don't want to run or do anything like that. Um, but at least they look good. That's one great thing. So thanks for listening to my eight-week update. I will uh, send another one through at week 12. Uh, thanks. I'm Ellie from Natural Balance Health and Fitness.